Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today we're going to open up Parks from Keymaster Games. So you can see it's for one to five players, ages 10 and up, and takes about 40 to 70 minutes to play. Uh, there are multiple versions of Parks. There is one from the very successful Kickstarter. There was one from Barnes & Noble that had a different cover. Uh, this is the English first edition. Um, and... You can see this one includes game trays and a donation is made to the National Park Service for each game. So that's nice. You can see what the game is going to look like here. So I mentioned there are different versions, this being the English first edition. Uh, I don't think any of them have any gameplay differences. And there is a new second edition out now or coming out soon, I believe. All right, so what do we have inside? We've got a rule book, so this says version 1.1 uh, and has a how to play. That's always nice. It's an interesting finish on this. Um, like kind of a linen finish that you can feel. List of the game components, I always appreciate that. Overview and goal, you've got two hikers that you're controlling taking a hike through the national parks. This doesn't have every uh, U.S. national park in here, but I think the other ones are included in an expansion, if that really interests you. So we've got setup, uh, taking turns, different actions that you can do, the end of the trail, end of a season, common questions. That's nice to have a fact in there. I really like how they did this. They list all the different uh, artists, including their contact information and the parks that they illustrated in the game because each park is illustrated individually. Um, pretty interesting. There's a tip in here too that says uh, you should take the punch out boards and put them under the insert to uh, kind of elevate the insert and keep everything in there. All right, so it looks like we have a guide here, just a quick guide on playing the game and some of the symbology that's always nice to have. Here's a uh, postcard. Interesting. There you go. And some punch boards that's wrapped up in plastic. Let me open those. It's nice that it uh, came wrapped in plastic, so everything kind of stayed put. So we've got uh, the beginning and the end of the trail here. We've got the camera there. So let's punch out the camera and have a look. Nice, fairly thick. I mean, pretty much what you would expect. Um, nice piece uh, of cardboard. Um, there's three of the campfires for the different players. There's a photo that I just uh, punched out as I was pulling this out. Lots of pieces, lots of photo pieces. And these are the different trail sites. Actually, two boards here. So everything is a nice, uh, thick cardboard. So that's all very good. And here we have the game trays that were mentioned. So nice covers to hold everything in place. You've got sunshine, wood tokens, the uh, animal tokens. They're all different uh, sculpts, so. You know, you can look at a couple of them there. A fish, cool. So a lot of different nice wooden pieces. All right, and then again, some more tokens. Silica packet inside there, that's interesting. I wonder how well that actually works. Um, all right, but some more tokens, some more animals. I think there are some pro animals out there too, if that's interesting to anybody. Uh, we have a trifold board here. Let's see if I can get this folded out properly. All right, now it's on the back. There's the front. It tells you to where to put the different um, season cards in the parks and uh, tells you some other information on here on the board. So it's nice. Looks like it's not, yeah, I think it'll go flat just fine after a little bit of use. All right, this is like a nice metal first player uh, token, so that's pretty cool. All right, and it's one of the pieces that came through. Oh, here are the hikers, right? So there's 
two hikers in every color. So let's take a look at some of those. Um, they all seem to have, yeah, it's the same design on each one. They're just different colors. Some hikers, and then there's some more hikers here in this tray. Um, and some of the cards, right? So here are the, this is, I think, the highlight of the game, the thing that draws uh, most people to the game. And these are the parks cards, right, that have the uh, oversized cards. Um, so if you look at a sleeve of these, these are larger uh, cards, and they are just beautiful art, right? So let's just flip through a bunch of these to look at the different art. I would like to go to Arches National Park. Actually, I'd like to go to all of these, even the ones I've been to. I'd like to go back. Um, Dry Tortugas National Park. That one's actually fairly close to me. I wonder if that's the closest one. It's a great place to go snorkeling. All right. Channel Islands National Park. Oh, you know what? I didn't even know that was a national park. Um, lots of some older ones down in the Virgin Islands. Alaska, Sequoia. Lots of beautiful, you know what, these are so beautiful, I'm just going to keep flipping through them so you can see them all. Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree Park is a great place to visit if you go out and visit. The Hoover Dam, places like that. Oh, Badlands is beautiful. Had an excellent trip to South Dakota. I've been there twice, actually. Um, oh, the Grand Canyon. Another great place to visit. This is Mount Rainier. I think if you have the Kickstarter version of the game that there's a box sleeve that features the Mount Rainier art. Arches National Park. Yay. All right, what else we got here? We got some more cards. All right, are these the... This looks like some gear, right? So in the game you can have gear, which gives you some benefit. So we got a bunch of different gear here. Is this all water bottles, trail maps, sunscreen? <laughs> yeah, if you're from Florida, you know about sunscreen, right? And these are some additional cards. I, don't, I actually don't know what these are. Maybe these are for solo. Uh, I mean, that's what that symbol might make me think, but I don't actually know. Let's see. I haven't played the game yet because I haven't opened it. This was given to me as a gift. I think this maybe came from Target. All right. All right, some season cards. So these uh, season cards kind of tell you, still just the art is fantastic. Uh, season cards, um, basically give you some different thing that's going to happen during that season. So that's for everybody, uh, but it just adds a little variety to the game. Uh, and these are the canteen cards, so you activate these with water, and then they give you extra stuff and individual personal bonuses as well. I've forgotten what these are called, season or year cards. I get the terminology confused. Um, there you go. And so then here, there's another insert down here for you to hold all those things. This is what I was talking about, to take the uh, skeleton of these punch boards and stick it. Instead of, uh, you know, just recycling this, which it even recommends to recycle it there, so stick them underneath uh, the insert to just kind of raise it up, uh, which will help keep everything together. So, all right, that is... Parks, a beautiful production, and I can't wait to play it and tell you all what I think about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, just hit the like button, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.